my name is Brenton Keen, and I'm currently at PPCC doing the nursing program. I was part of a military family. I originally out of high school went to culinary school. Um, did that for about a year and a half and then realized that's not something I want to do as a career, but it's more of a passion. So then I joined the Army and then that's where I found out that uh, um, I really enjoyed medical because I was a combat medic for eight years. And so I really enjoyed uh, taking care of my, my patients, making sure that they got better, and uh, working with my hands and now I'm here doing nursing school. So my first goal is to get my RN and then I'm going for my BSN. Um, from there I'm going to work in either OR, ER, ICU or med search for a few years. ICU is definitely going to be on the tail end of that because I want to get that experience before I can actually work um, in ICU. Afterwards, uh, eventually, I don't know when, I might go for my NP or I might go for my MSN because when I don't want to work as a nurse anymore, I do want to teach as a nurse uh, and teach the future nursing generations. It makes it a lot easier not having to uh, try and balance work and school at the same time because I unfortunately still have to keep working. Um, I got screwed out of my GI Bill, so I don't have that money coming in to me. Uh, so I use FAFSA, uh, the grants, any scholarships that are available that help and just makes life a little bit easier so I can focus on my studies more th rather than just trying to make sure I have a roof over my head. It's definitely made things easier um, and I like that it's cheaper <laughs> compared to UCCS or other universities. Uh, for the most part though, no, PPCC has been pretty flexible uh, with schedules. If I couldn't make a certain day just because of work or uh, prior obligations or something like that, there was always different courses on different days that would help out. So you, you just got to choose. Or if I had to work nights compared to days or compared to mornings compared to days, they gave that option pretty, pretty regularly. Um, in this case for me, being part of PPCC or attending PPCC is that it is the number one nursing program in Colorado and I don't know what number it is in the uh, nation but it's actually a pretty uh, high up there. I, last I heard it was actually number one in the nation but I know it's bounced between one to fifth and so just having that kind of prestige uh, will help me get a job as well as a nurse and just move on to what I want to do in my career. Definitely uh, <clears throat> a few people I want to mention. I, I don't want to say their names just to protect them because I don't know if they want me to or not. But I had my A&P teacher who was very straightforward. He was very fair. Um, if you studied, even if you studied a little bit, you were going to understand your, his information. If you actually put in the work, though, and studied, asked him questions, things like that, you would do well in his uh, classes always plus he was always there ready to uh, answer questions for you he would stay after even class when it was almost 9 p.m. just to make sure that everything was understood uh, and that there was no surprises or you know hitting hidden agendas or anything like that um, another teacher that I had this is actually in the nursing program he really did care about his students. He wanted to make sure that we succeeded. Um, he would always boost our morale even when our morale was low. He would, he would sense it without us even telling him and he would be able to find a way to raise our spirits up just one more time. I just want to thank him for the scholarship opportunity, so thank you. <laughs>